School districts across the area are starting summer meal programs, but the demand for meals could be much greater than in years past because of COVID-19. Mike Tissell joining us live in Roseville, where that school district is kicking off its program this morning. Mike. Yeah, good morning. We're live at Ike Middle School. They kick it off here at 11 a.m. this morning. And while we've covered this story in years past, it's definitely going to look and feel different from previous summers. Take a look. One of the biggest differences is going to be that you're not going to see this. This video here is from previous years when we actually met students inside during this summer meal program. This year, Roseville City Schools doing this summer meal program as drive through only and all the nutrition officials are going to be wearing masks and gloves. And then there's the issue of what demand might look like starting today. Last Last summer, Roseville's K through eight school sites, they averaged 532 summer meals a day. But over the past two months, as part of school closures and remote learning, they have even before this summer meal program begins, they've been averaging 4,500 meals a day. We were actually uh, pretty surprised about how much um, meals are in demand over the last two months. So it's going to be interesting to see whether that demand as part of school closures continues into the summertime. This summer program, if you're not aware, again, is federally funded free to anyone 18 years of age or younger, no matter where you go to school. No registration is required. Roseville's program, again, is a drive through grab and go where each day school nutrition workers are going to be handing out breakfast and lunch together Monday through Friday from 11 to 1230. Roseville, the school sites are Ike, Bullion, Kirby and Woodbridge. But keep in mind, Roseville, not the only school district doing this. You can go to the USDA's website and their summer meal locator to find a location nearest to you. But again, as we move into summer, the big question is going to be to see whether or not the demand is exponentially bigger than years past because of this coronavirus pandemic. In Roseville, Mike Tissell, KCRA 3 News.